What's going on guys, j Law B-Ball here. Kiwi Gardener, yeah, yeah, area's finest legend. All of his clips are gonna be down in the link below. But we are gonna teach and work on a couple things that are gonna help extend your shooting range. So I'm gonna have Kiwi go through a couple drills. He's gonna give a bonus drill at the very end, so stick around for that, it's gonna be insane. Some that Steph and the Santa Cruz Warriors, because he played in G League for the Santa Cruz Warriors, got him doing, and it helped with his range tremendously. So let's get right to work, yeah, yeah. So first drill that we're gonna do is just gonna be a high arcing drill. We're gonna stay in nice and close. Key's gonna go as high as he can with his shot, just getting that touchdown or that ball and hip rhythm down. So if you guys watch Kiwi, he's gonna go into these shots. He's not too focused on making a shot. He's focused on just getting that ball comfortably out of his hands as his hips extend. So he's getting that touch and that rhythm down. Notice how smooth and effortless that ball coming out of his hands was. And that's what we're really looking for. You're not worried about, or we don't want him, gosh, that's tough. We're not worried about him like actually shooting the ball or feeling like he's stressed in his shoulders. We want that ball to release from his hands with smooth controlled rhythm. So help me God, if he makes another one here, it's gonna be the longest streak out of anybody who's ever done it. Oh! I was about to flip. Give me one more key. And just focus on consistency with our mechanics. And like, as you saw there, when he goes into this shot, He's not putting a ton of stress on his shoulders. That ball's going up and just within rhythm, as, that, as his arms start to extend, that ball's releasing from his hand. So it's really important to just have that rhythm tied into this concept. So this next one is one that's gonna help just promote like quick feet. And like, that's one thing like when we see, if I see like young hoopers or even like mature hoopers, like adult hoopers who are struggling with controlling their range, a lot of it is like urgency with feet. So they'll be like really slow with their rhythm step or their drops or their foot replacements. And this drill kind of helps like become a little bit more urgent, make our feet a little bit more urgent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one dribble key. You're gonna go quickly adjust your feet, turning either direction for us, but you're just gonna plant. And then right when you pick up ball, set feet, and then quick rhythm to get into shot. So you're gonna focus on just firing those feet as quickly as possible, and then still getting into a smooth controlled release. Yep. Fine ball, it's all right. Hey up. Tough. Give me other hand now. You guys can switch hands on this. You can do whatever footwork combos you want. This would be a foot replacement where Kiwi just gets to a quick hop, picks up that ball. Notice how he loads his hips. So when he picks up that ball, sets his feet, his hips get loaded in that downward position or prep position, and then it's just controlled momentum upward. You need one more key? Tough, baby. So another series, so whenever we work on like this type, this part of our game, like urgency, we always wanna focus on different types of footwork. So what we just did there was like a foot replacement. Now let's get into a drop. So what we're gonna have is we're gonna start with ball above head. We're gonna take three hops. One, two, three. On that third one, I want you to cross, get to that drop stance, and then pick up to pull. So it's gonna be here. One, two, three, cross, get to your drop, pick up and pull. And I know the footwork on that was different. This first part, what we're doing is we're just practicing every time our feet hit the ground, we're loading or preloading those hips. We kind of feel that one, two, three, we're just prepping that body. So even though it's not, like I said, a drop footwork, or we're get, still getting into that timing of loading ball and hips together. Yeah. Tough. Yep. Tough. Notice how every time when he gets into that, he gets into those little hops, He's loading those hips, just load, 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 cross, drop, pull. Yeah, yeah, switch, go the other way, Kiwi. Yep, good timing. He's picking that ball up as his back foot is hitting. His left foot's gonna step in, picks ball up, and then quick fire, quick pull on the shot. Once again, this is helping our range because it's promoting urgency within our footwork. 
Obviously he's shooting from 15 feet. It's not a deep shot, but he's getting his feet and his timing down. So that way he can control quicker shots or control quicker feet, which in turn is gonna help promote deeper shots later on. And the last part, not necessarily the last part, you guys can continue to expand on this, but we wanna get better with timing our hands and our feet together. So for this series, what Kiwi's gonna do is gonna go three split betweens, so dribbling the ball between his legs, and on that third one, he's gonna take one dribble downhill to get to his step back, okay? Let's see it, Kiwi. Quick one, two, three, pop. Notice how urgent that dribble is, how aggressive each, each footwork, how aggressive our stance is when he goes into the betweens. And then he's out on that last one, he's getting into space. Quick, one, two, three, go. Yep. Tough, Kiwi. Pop. Yep. Tough. Yep. Good. Still same thing. Urgent hands, urgent feet. And for you guys, if you're trying to get your footwork, we'll go the other way. If you're trying to get your footwork faster, understand that your feet are only going to be as fast as your hands. So like an Olympic sprinter, they don't run with their hands on their sides. They run by pumping those hands. Okay, ball handlers or basketball players, you only become quicker if we can control that basketball within our shot or within our drives. So as you go through this drill, we're also promoting our hands being faster with that ball. So quick hands are gonna equal quick feet. Good rip. And you heard Kiwi say, or maybe you didn't, but Kiwi just said like, you gotta be on balance. So we're also promoting reaching for space, being balanced, getting into a controlled shot. Good rip. Good rip, Kiwi. Tough, baby. Let's go one more, Kiwi. Good rip. Tough. We're getting into some range extending type of thing, so I'm gonna teach you guys a drill that I done, uh, got it from Steph, and uh, pretty much with the Golden State organization, we got, you know, two of the best shooters to ever walk the planet, so kind of by nature, some of the drills kind of drift down to you know, development team, so I was able to get some stuff. So, um, one of them is that we kind of do after we finish out all of our nice, nice work of our staying crispy and all of our, you know, robotic things. We come and get real deep. We just try to try to keep the same, same level, the same type of comfort that we were shooting on our mid ranges and our threes, and just like kind of work on range extending. It doesn't necessarily have to be all makes, but I don't want you to like push the ball. Yeah shoot unnaturally and do you know i want you to still no misses that are like left yeah, and right just try to left. stay silent and then it, it, it'll come i okay. promise it'll come try to keep you a nice base which you already have let's start off from right here we're gonna go back we're gonna go back usually like when we working out we'll start off here you know real close and move back for this drill we'll start off at the three-point line that's like our layup right now okay. that's that's what we want to be our money shot and then we'll move back from there keep a nice base nice strong shot good shot j Law. get it up Make sure you're jumping. That's a perfect shot. Just kind of shoot that shot every single time. Every single time you shoot, you just shoot it like that. Right? And I don't, I don't mind good misses. Good misses are good. Just feel good. It's all about feeling good right now. Look good, feel good. And stay in there just like that. Stay in there and stick that jumper. I see you talking about it a lot on, on, on your own stuff. You teach it, you teach it. So practice what you preach and stick in there. You good? Practice what you preach and make sure you stick in there. It look good though. Everything looks good. Step into it, knock it down. You just keep shooting like that. You step back, yep. And still step into it and shoot your shot. Stay in there with me nice and loaded. Shoot your shot. Good shot. Good shot. Nice and loaded. Good shot. Feel good every time. It's a good shot. I want you to make sure every time you shoot the ball, 
you shooting your best shot. The sh any shot before don't matter, and we don't know if we'll ever get another shot again. You of all people know this, yep. right? So every shot you take, I just want you to shoot your best shot. And it'll look like that every time. Step back. Just shoot your best shot. That's good. Now just figure it out. The only thing that we'll adjust is how high we jump. That's the only thing we'll adjust. That's a good shot. That's a great shot, Jay. Good money. It's a good miss. I like that. Yeah, it feels good. Because what we're trying to do is feel good. That's all we want to do is feel good. We're not going to be out here shooting 60 foot shots in the game. Now step in, take steps in, one step in. That's money. This is your range right here. It's a good shot. That's a good three. Now take a little one step in. And this is an elite shot, an NBA three point shot. It's not easy, it's truly an art. Just because it looks easy and it feel a little closer, don't mean you disrespect the shot, right? You still give it your best shot, you still lock in and shoot it, right? Good shot. Look good. That looks good, that looks good. That looks good. Stay in there. Learn how to be able to be comfortable with success. Don't pull the string. Don't get happy. You're just making shots. You're just doing what you do. Doing what you work to do. Good. And now we're just having fun. Now we just having fun. Yeah. 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 Now we just having fun with it. Nice. Nice. After you feel good, you just have fun. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's all kind of starting from like getting that feel from deep. You yeah. know what I mean? So I feel like you said something to me that resonated with me really well. And it was feel good. Like, a lot of times as trainers, bad ones at that, like you get into a, a habit of like trying to make your subject or make your client so robotic and like so perfect. And that's not what this is about. It's about a level of comfort and consistency within your shot. Like for once in a very long time right there, I was actually not focused so much on my shooting mechanics when I was deep, mm -hmm. but just focus on the feeling of like, locking in, making this the best shot possible. Like that mindset, the mindset change going into deep shots or any shot for that matter is so important. If you suck at bringing in your mindset, you called me out too because I took two shots, disrespected how close they were and it showed and you called me out right away. After that, I locked in, I got into that rhythm, hit five in a row, hit seven in a row, started making them more comfortably because I was preparing myself so much better and they started with the mentality change and that's so important and huge more so than the stuff like that you're gonna try to work on to change your shot if you don't feel comfortable in your own skin it is so hard to be an elite shooter there's so many different jump shots out there like for me if you if you ask me i thought that reggie miller's jumper was ugly for sure it's just ugly clay thompson Jumper, super perfect, super pretty. Like, it's just so beautiful to watch. But those are the same type of shooters, yeah. right? They both have the same amount of production. They both can snipe the ball from anywhere. So I really, it's, there's certain things that we can do, like we can auto-correct, like making sure we have a nice base, making sure that we follow through. Those are things that's scientifically proven that makes everybody better. Mm -hmm. But as far as like your form and just feeling good, everybody's different. Yeah. And it's just all about feeling good and kind of minimizing your variables, right? Trying to take as much stuff as you can out of it that's bad and then whatever you keeping, you just try to, uh, you know, make it as effective and as efficient as possible and just feel good. Respect. So, that's what I think. My guy Kiwi, there you have it. Two tips on how to extend your range and then we even got a bonus one from the Bay Area legend himself. 
Santa Cruz Warriors legend himself. Like, you ask anybody and everybody who this man is, and everybody knows. Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you guys want more training videos, we have a link to our training subscription below. Get all the shooting drills. We have our shooting transformation that just came out. It's gonna teach you all the little details on how to extend your range and how to become an elite level shooter in game. So let's get it, baby. Yeah, yeah, Kiwi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.